I've returned to Killinghall Moor uh, via Highway of the Gods, which is just through those trees there. Now, we do have the rest of the Highway of the Gods to actually um, explore going along there. Apologies for the wind, by the way. Uh, we've looked at half Killinghall Moor. If I zoom in over there, that's the way we looked before, and it led us to the Saltgate Link the pheasant enclosure, and then beyond that, uh, the colt's foot, which was an impasse. Now, in theory, if we head around here, we should meet up with the Saltergate link at that side, which is what we're doing, which is what we're going to do today. We may also find several routes through those trees uh, that may end up in Oakdale. I, I, I don't know. But that is what we're going to do. <clears throat> Today, the first thing, first bit of what we're going to do today. <laughs> so walking alongside this sort of dark pine forest, there's no way in because of the the rails that run all the way along. There is a route over there, and we've done that route that goes up, almost to the Saltgate link. This route here seems to go along there, and I suspect we'll find a crossroads just up ahead. Uh, with that, so uh, there's lots of little interlinking uh, routes around here, but nothing in the trees, which is a, a shame actually. Although it does look quite dark in there, you know, the uh, forest of eternal darkness at the top of Crystal Peaks is a bit like this. This one looks natural but I wouldn't bet on it. The one on the top of Crystal Peaks has been specifically planted and all the trees are in little rows, less than a foot apart, a bit like they are here. And although you never go in that one either, um, just like I don't think we're gonna get to go in this one, uh, you'll find that if you did, even around midday, you would need uh, a torch because the pines are so close together that the canopy blocks out all the light. Yep, look, there's the crossroads. I think, because we know where that way goes, we're going to go this way. Ooh, I think he's vanished now, but there was a really, really, really big squizzle up there. Sorry, squirrel. <laughs> squizzle. Um, do you know, I have a story about a squirrel. When I was in London, <coughs> uh, at... Uh, St Paul's Cathedral Lake community. We shared this house and it was on Perman Street, right at the end, near uh, um, one of the tube stations. And uh, in front of us, between us and this tube station, was this huge building which had belonged, I believe, to the Secret Service and it had been turned into penthouse apartments. And um, my window was sort of on the second, well, first floor, it was one floor up. And I used to have my window open quite a lot. And there was like this trellis outside uh, in the garden near, uh, near a conservatory. And I remember one day I, I came back in, in the evening <coughs> and I'd left the window open and there was a squizzle in my bedroom. I don't know if it lived near the, um, the trellis because it was quite thick or what, but uh, it was there. And uh, it's coming through the window. Um, gave me a nasty, nasty fright, I can tell you. So it looks likely like we're not going to ever get into that forest there. So I'm going to call that the forest of untouchable darkness because we know it's there. We know the darkness is there, but we can't get in. Uh, here is a turning. That way is obviously leading around the top of, of the moor. This way goes out and I think this goes into uh, Oakdale. I just want to check. If so, I'll call this the Oakdale Fork. We found yet a second split and another one that heads back in that direction. I think it might go out into an estate over there. I don't think, I think it's be far behind more, but we'll, we'll check that on the way back. We'll do this one first. But just to let you know that on that side I can see uh, Oakdale um, <coughs> golf course on the other side there. So, part of our To the Ends of the Earth uh, uh, trip is the Obelisk Walk, which is on the other side of that 
uh, those trees and on the other side of the um, the golf course. Now, it might also be... Uh, I've got another little story for you. And that's to do with when I first arrived here today in uh, this... in Killinghall Moor. And... Uh, <coughs> I... Uh, I passed by a, a car in the car park with, you know, a load of yobby youths hanging around. And everybody knows you don't actually need to have done drugs to know what weed smells like. Um, and this was pretty pongy. I mean, usually you get a waft of it if somebody's, you know, doing what they shouldn't as they walk past. But uh, this was like a, a bonfire. Now, <clears throat> brings me back, yes, look, this is an ending in Oakdale by the looks of it. Anyway, it brings me back to um, university. And uh, the first year of university, I lived in the halls of residence, Revis Barber, G floor number eight. And opposite me, well, and one further along near the kitchen, was this guy, and he didn't stay very long. He was a bit of a druggie. Anyway, I uh, I ended up with having these sort of like funny little welts on my um, my arms and my uh, particularly around the wrists and, and stuff like that. And they were really itchy and horrible, like sort of little hives. And I didn't know what was causing them uh, or anything like that. Nothing I did seemed to get rid of them. And then he left and they disappeared. And there's a guy that's just about to come through there. Anyway, we'll have this as Oak, Oakdale, shall we? Uh, uh, and um, he left. And it turned out that his room was absolutely blue with smoke. And uh, we've since discovered, basically, that uh, I'm allergic to um, to that plant, even the smoke of it burning in dried form. And uh, I, that was a very, very big cloud of smoke I passed through on my way in here. So I'm rather hoping that when I get home, I won't have discovered that I have little welts all around my wrist. Uh, <laughs> hopefully not. They They go pretty quickly, but they're not very pleasant. Now, this route here, that we're walking back to, seems to go to a sort of field. And I don't know if this field is actually part of the... Uh, <clears throat> the moor or not. I will know when I get across. So that's where we're going next. <laughs> 